It's Kerbals in Space! Yes, we are doing Kerbal Space Program. Um, this is going to be a highly edited video because there's a lot of big boring parts. This is the fifth time I've recorded this because I keep, well, I keep getting distracted by these little guys right here and, and I end up playing the game and not talking and mussing about and stuff like that. So, we're going to go in um, and we're going to try to send our Kerbal to space. I'm not trying for the Mun, just space. So, uh, hold on and here we go. Here we are at Kerbal Space Compound in Kerbal Canaveral. We're gonna, we're gonna build a rocket for reasons of, because I like rockets. Um, this actually took me a long time to, to get used to the, um, the design system here. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with this. Um, we're gonna send our first, we're gonna use a Command 1 module. So this is a small module is a single Kerbal module. There's this little Kerbal port right there. Um, first important thing is not for me fuel. The first important thing is... Uh, where is it, I wonder? Oh, utility. It is the parachute. <laughs> there. We now have a parachute so we can get down and our Kerbal won't die. I've killed a few Kerbals. Whoa! What happened to my... Um... Pretty cool. Um, well, that's interesting. My uh, my Kerbal spaceship apparently has disappeared. Huh. Okay. Well, let's let's try again. <laughs> All right. We're gonna do that. Utility. Put our parachute on top. Okay. Then we need to separate them. And this is all stuff that I've learned by just kind of mucking about in the game. Um, this one, I think, fits. Yes, it does. All right, I'm not going to move that yet. And then I want... Not structural. I want... Ah, fuel. Because we need fuel. This fuel tank, I think, works. Yes, it does. Oop. Don't disappear. Okay, good. All right. So let's put an engine on here. We're gonna put this engine on here. So there, there we go. I think this will be our our basic rocket. So yeah, let's take it out to the launch pad. Let's see what we can do about this launch. Dun dun dun. Oh, I untitled it. It's not titled. That's sad. Oh well, we're out here on the space pad. Our Kerbal Jebediah is in his pod. He looks kind of nervous. All right, let's power this baby up. And go. Yeah, we got Kerbal lift off. Kerbal off. Lift Kerbal, Kerbal lift. It's Kerbal lift. Let's get inside. Eee, I can't see bloody thing. All right, we're gonna get out. Look at him, jeopardize, he's so happy. Uh oh, we're tipping. Let's, let's stop that, no tippy tippy. No tippy tippy. No, no. Stop it. Probably need control fins. Right now I'm just using thrusters, but. There. There. Come on. Whoop. Oh, no, no. Nope, nope. Here we go. Stop. Straight. Oh, look at Jebediah. You're making it into space, my little Kerbal friend. We have a little bit more liquid fuel left. No, 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 this way. Eh, oh, no, this way. <laughs> oh, stop it, you silly thing. Oh, we're about to run out of fuel. So then we're going to hit this, and then... There! Yeah! Uh-oh, now we got a spin Kerbal. we got a Kerbal spin! Oop, wrong way. Stop. Oh, look at that! And he's such a happy Kerbal. Look at him. It's like, yay! First Kerbal in space! There goes our, um, our thing, our whatever that thing is. Our engine, I guess. Um, yeah. So we've made it up to 50,000 meters and going. We are slowly reducing our speed, our upward speed. And we're going to plummet back to Earth. Kerth? Earth? Kerbolth? Kerberth. We're going to go back to Kerberth. Ooh. So, yeah, I did play around with this a good bit. So, um, 
Uh, yeah, you're not going to get explosions. I actually didn't have... Did I have an explosion? I had one. I had one rocket explode for reasons of I don't remember why. But I lost one. Oh, look, he's, he's making it. Yay, Kerbal! Um, yeah, so I had one rocket explode. I've not made it out of the gravitational field yet. But, um... Orbit map. Look at us. We're going to go up and back. So there's the Mun out there. Now, the, the thing about Kerbals in space is the building of the rockets is just a pain in the butt. There's there's no nice way, nice thing to say about it. So we'll be back. Um, we'll be back when us and Jebediah have. Uh, when we're back down towards Earth, because this is like a 20 minutes of just going up in this space. But it looks nice. I mean, look at that curvature of curb curb Earth. There goes the the rocket that got us up here. All right, we'll be back when uh, when we're on our way back to Kaberth. We're currently plummeting through 37,000 meters. We're going to about to hit the shock zone up here. You actually see where we are in the atmosphere. We're about to enter into the shock zone. There's a there's the the remains of our uh, spaceship right there. It's going to crash into the into Kaberth here. I mean, I'm actually waiting until we're kind of through the shock zone because you're going to see that we're going to pick up a little bit of you can see right there some heat coming off the shock zone as we we enter back into Kaberth's atmosphere. So now that we're through the atmosphere come on there parachute out notice we're slowing down pretty rapidly it does seem like we're getting really really close but the parachute will deploy hopefully before we die. And Jebediah then will be able to get out of his spaceship and walk Kerbal Head held high as the first Kerbal to leave Kaberth. Hopefully, if he doesn't die on impact. Uh, and they're, they're driving over here right now in their pickup trucks to pick him up. They, we, don't have, we don't have expensive moon bug, buggies. That must have been the, uh, the debris of the shuttle. Okay, come on. Come on, deploy. There we go. Yay! Jebediah, you made it! So that's really the very first rocket to, to build. Um, actually, in the training, they don't even have you put a parachute on it. So you just end up killing your Kerbal in the training, which is unfortunate. Jebediah is, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a nice Kerbal. So we'll come back when we're back in the, uh, the VAB, building the next stage of our Kerbal rocket. Okay, we're back in the VAB. We're ready to to build our second spacecraft. So, we want to take this spacecraft. So the, the first one we shot just basically went straight up, came right back down. Now, I've done another one that looked the same as the first one, but I put some solid rocket boosters on it. We got up and we came right back down. But we want to get up to space and maneuver around. So we need to build something that gets us up to space and allows us to maneuver. So. That's our goal. Um, let's see here. We're going to go with let's go with this command pod. This allows three Kerbals to ride in it. So let's go ahead and start with a parachute. This one? That was a little bit small for that. This one. Ah, there we go. That'll work. Good. Now we're going to want a separation ring. Nope, not that one. Too small. Um, this one? That's also too small. Must be this one. Yes, there we go. So now we have a separation ring. So we can separate our crew pod. Now, we need um, fuel tank. Do we want this fuel tank? No, that's silly. Uh, this fuel? No. Ooh, we can put that fuel tank on. Hmm. Put that fuel tank on. Can we get like a. 
A little engine, not a basic jet engine. Looking for like a really basic poodle engine. Okay. Okay, that that's probably gonna be good. Alright, so now I think if I go to a structural fuselage. Ah, there we go. So there's a separator so that we can separate this off. Yeah. That's good. Let's get this guy up in the air a little bit more. Now, let's go over and get some propulsion. Get a nice fuel tank. Not that one, because it's too small. Alright, I need a bigger fuel tank. Jet fuel? No. Well, that'll work. That's a nice big fuel tank right there. All right, now let's get a nice big... It's not a big engine. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get another one of these engines. Hmm. Yes. I think that'll... Hmm. But that's not a lot of fuel. So... Get rid of that. I really want this fuel tank, but why is it so small? Um, all right, well, fine. Um, liquid fuel 90, liquid fuel 360. Oh no, this one actually has a lot more liquid fuel in it, so that's good. Let's let's stick with that and let's put that engine on there, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of leery about that, but let's let's put them up again and let's go get another coupler. Uh, utility. No structural stack separator. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah. There. Good. All right, let me go back. Let's grab another one of these. And another one of these. Cool. Then, so we fly up, we separate that. So... What? What's... Why is there a fire on there? that... Hmm. I have a feeling something is going to go boom. Okay, so let's go over here. I want to put a radial decoupler, but I'm, if I come down here and do symmetrical mode, then when you put your radial decoupler on, it's really kind of a pain in the butt a little bit, but like that... Yeah. Now if we go back to propulsion and grab, where's that solid rocket booster? Yeah. Come on, I know you can I know you will attach. And this is this is the part that drives me nuts, because it's like I know you'll attach, it's just a matter of getting it to want to attach. I know you attach. Ugh, fine. What about this one? Those ones will work. Fine. Okay. Good. Those solid rocket boosters? Okay. Now let's put a... Yeah. Put those on there. That looks good. I have a feeling it's going to blow up, but let's go to launch pad. Alright. We got Bill, Jebediah, and Bob. Okay. Now, I... Oh, goodness, there's so many stages. Which stage is that? Okay, that's that and that. So I want th that and that. I want to power that up. And that and that. Okay.
Huh. Well, unfortunately, our three did not live. But that's still there. You so stupid thing. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get rid of those. There. Try again. Clear the launch pad. Friggin' stupid debris. Okay, so we lost our three guys. Now we have Mitzer, Douglas, and Matford. Whatever. Alright, let's power it up. Let's go, boys. Oh, that does not look safe at all. Alright, but we're making it. We have plenty of liquid fuel still in the tank. Uh oh, we're starting to overheat. That's not good. Oh, no, no, come on, straighten out. Okay, we're almost, our liquid fuel is almost... Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's, uh... Can we decouple that, please? Whoa, whoa. Um, that's not what I really wanted you to do, but hold on guys. I'm trying to save you. Uh, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna live. Um Okay, we gotta we, we gotta get this straightened out a little bit. Stop! Whatever you're doing, you s Oh, that was unfortunate. I'm sorry, boys. Oops. My bad. Poor Kerbals. Alright, let's go back and try that again. By getting rid of all of this guff, because... It's obvious I don't know what the heck I'm doing. That should have worked, honestly. I like how that didn't separate. That was highly annoying. Okay. Um, structure. Can I put a structural fuselage? Can you not? Okay, here we're going to do this thing. Can you not be stupid? And can you be bigger? That would be... Lovely. Ugh. Okay. Um, the other thing that kind of drives me crazy about Kerbals is if I get down here to just the pod, I just have this thing. I want to get rid of it. No, no, no. I'm not allowed. No, you can't. Mm. Alright. So we're going to try a new one. I'll be back when I have this thing sort of built. Alright. So I decided with the death of all, of all those Kerbals that no more Kerbals were going to attempt to flight this time. Um, so we've built a satellite. It's it's a very simple satellite. A couple photovoltaic photovoltaics. Uh, communication probe stuck on top of this. Um, it's got two big stages on it. Some solid rocket boosters. A small stage in there. And we're going to hope to get this sucker into space. So let's go try it. Because what's the worst that can happen, right? We blow up a satellite. Meh. Whatever. Okay, and theoretically, I'll be able to recover my solid rocket boosters because they have parachutes, but mm, I doubt it. Okay, here we go. Power it up. Full power. Go. Or the parachutes will randomly just decide they're going to go. Not really much I can do about this at this point. I mean, I could attempt to... Okay. No, that was a good thing to do. <sighs> yeah, okay. Back to the VAB. <laughs> um, I've decided I don't care anymore. Go away. And we'll put... Where's that? There is a vehicle stability... Ah, avionics package. 
that on those, because maybe that'll keep it from blowing up. All right, let's go. All right. Here we go. Powered up. Go. Yeah. Drifting ever so slightly. Um, yeah. This isn't going to go well, I don't think. Probably should put some thrusters on there. Please fire. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I can get some stability going. Good. Let's get the sucker into space. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like that. Okay, there we go. We're going for a nice orbit. I hope. Maybe. Okay, we got plenty of liquid fuel. We're still going up. Not very far up, though, mind you. Hmm. Well, alright. Well, we're running low on liquid fuel, so we're going to get ready to separate our stages here. That bit there that I want to worry about. No, not that, right? There we go. Now we're going for broke. Maybe. See if we can get the sucker into space. I don't know where I'm going to put it in space, mind you, but I'm just trying to get there. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're nowhere near where our Kerbal was. Crap, crap, don't do that. The other way, the other way. Nope, nope, there. That'll work. I don't care. Nope, nope, nope. Go oh, that way. There. I think we'll save our satellite. Yeah, we're accelerating too. All right, running low on liquid fuel, but that's okay. It's okay. We got another stage to go. And we're running lower on liquid fuel, which means we're getting lighter. Ah. Okay, here she comes. Yeah, last jump. getting there. We are definitely getting there. Maybe we'll put this this into space. Maybe not. Put the other way. We're still accelerating. We're still going up. We still got plenty of liquid fuel. Cur There's Kerpel Canaveral down there. Still going, going for broke. Still got some liquid fuel left. Somewhere there's that. Oh, there. That's right there. Okay. I was trying to find where the other, uh, other separator is. It's way up there somewhere. I can select it here. Yeah. So we've launched it into space ish, maybe? So let's check our orbital map. We have. 
Um, launched it completely out of the atmosphere towards an unknown position in the far off universe. Well, that's kind of cool. Huh. Well, interesting that we managed that. Can I, I can't really do anything. Oh, now I've got it in a tumble. How's its resources? Not good. Electricity's going down. How do I get the little, little photovoltaic, photovoltaics? Ugh. Lights, gears, gears? No. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so we've shot it into space. We've lost it. Yay! <laughs> <sighs> anyway, so uh, yeah, this is Kerbal Space Program. Hey, you know, it's it's fun. The building of the rockets is just absolutely maddening. It's not the best design, in my opinion, for a lot of the bits and bobs. Um, we've now lost our little probe. We'll forever go out into space. That's okay, though. Um, so let's go back to the uh, in flight and flight. Yay, we made it. We made it quite a ways. So let's go back to VAB. Um, this is the most maddening bit in this whole in this whole game is building your rockets because there's no like there's a lot of trial and error. Like when do you use a mainsail versus a LV909? How do you get a Mark II to Mark III adapter to work other than get a Mark III fuselage and attach it? And they won't attach like this. This also drives me crazy. I, I'd like to build sub-assemblies and then bring them together, but I can't. I can only attach it to this, to the main rocket bit. Now if I detach it, then that's fine, but you know, I, I want to be able to just attach things together over here, build a sub-assembly, and then bring it in. And I don't feel I can do that. But um, but it's an interesting game. I, you're not going to get a Let's Play out of this game. Um, I'll probably goof around with it. I will might shoot a video if I make it to the MUN or something like that. But, yeah. The Kerbal Space Program. It's a cool little game. Uh, it's available on Steam. It will try your patience. But, you know, maybe you can get a satellite to space. Maybe. These didn't work. I'm going to try something else. <laughs> Until next time, Ben Dare Tubbers. Bye.